For our charcoal lesson today, I want you to start by taking your black paper and holding it horizontal. So that is um, not up and down, but kind of side to side way. And then I want you to split it into four sections, four big sections. You're going to need, um, beyond the black paper, your white charcoal pencil and some other sort of eraser. I'm just going to use the end of a number two pencil as my eraser, but if you have your eraser from your packet, um, then that works too. So in our first section up here, let's just put a little number one to help us stay organized, and then a number two, a number three as we come down, and a number four. So in our first section, we are going to do two rectangles. And again, they do not need to be exactly the same. But try to use up most of the space in that section. I bet this is reminding you of something we did last week. We're going to take this, and this time we're only going to split it into four sections because it's so much smaller. So that means three lines. And do that to each of them. Now that we have four sections, we're going to label them. Five, four, three. Oops, there's only four of them. Four, three, two, and one. So four is going to be our darkest and one is going to be our lightest. So now we're actually going to work a little bit backwards from what we did last time, where if we want our lightest one to be white, we're going to have to color it in the darkest with our white pencil. So go ahead and do that. And again, try to use the side of your pencil, not up and down, but like pinch it, hold it to the side. Use the side of that charcoal pencil to get a good um, value gradient going. I want to be really, really white. And depending on if you have a charcoal pencil or a color pencil, you can rub it a little bit with your finger to kind of blend it in. Um, you might need to have a tissue if you're doing that a lot. I'm going to come on to number two now, and I want it to be a little bit lighter, right? We're moving towards darkness. So, excuse me, I want it to be a little bit darker. So I'm going to go with a little bit less pressure. Trying to keep consistent pressure throughout that square. Okay, I'm going to blend that in a little bit. And then I'm going to go to the three and I want it to be a little bit darker, so less light. So less pressure in that square. And then I'm going to go to the four and just the tiniest bit. Should be the darkest section I have. And I'll blend in those last two. And there I have a nice value scale from darkest to lightest. I'm going to do the same thing in the bottom one, but I'm going to use my hatching techniques. So remember if we want something to, in this case, be the lightest, I'm going to do my hatches um, as close together as I can get them. Trying to keep them consistent. You might find that you need to sharpen your pencil at some point. I had a little bit inconsistent lines there because I was using the side and then I moved to using more of the top. You can see the differences. Um, try to keep it one throughout and keep those hatches as close as you can to make this as light as possible. So we're obviously doing cross hatching in this one. It's pretty light. I'm going to move on to the next one and move those hatches a little bit further apart. I'm trying to keep them about equal distance from each other. I might even add like a third layer here. So lighter, darker than the one before, um, but still has a lot of white value in it. Then we'll move our value gradient into a darker one. So I'm going to spread them even further apart. I 
and the darkest one, so the least hatching. <coughs> You can, if you'd like to, even try a little bit of blending. I would do it really lightly just to kind of see what happens. Get a feel for what it's like to blend with these, um, if you like that or not. In some cases, you might want to use that, and in some cases, you might not. I want you to blow this just to make, like, a couple marks. Do some really hard marks. Um, maybe do a little bit of a blend. And then do a couple little softer marks. And then I want you to use your eraser and I want you to see, can you erase these marks? Um, what happens when you erase them? Do they fully go away? Do they not? So kind of experiment a little bit with the eraser and with this, can you make like a line through them? Depending on how nice of a fine point you have with your eraser, um, could you kind of, you know, make a straight line go through something? Just kind of get the hang of like, how much does it erase? How fully could you erase some of these white marks? So again, the goal today is just exploring with this charcoal pencil and with the eraser into how we kind of can create these values um, and create some form as well.